Lord, I called 25 people today. Lord, I went out to go to networking. And I said, Lord, I did my job today as an entrepreneur. Now, since I did my part, God, I'm gonna depend on you. You do your part and let the powers that be usher in the next level of success and greatness your way. Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jida. Steady through the rigor, yeah, I'm getting bigger. Was fighting in them trenches, now I'm making seven figures like. So how many of you guys on the journey to becoming an entrepreneur, working for yourself, become a first generation cash flow millionaire, feels that everything's under your control? Today, it's raining outside. And one of the nicknames I've been able to adopt over the years, it's the rain man. The rain man, why? Because every time I go get my car washed, boom, it rains. I get the Rolls Royce washed, boom, it rains. I get the AMG washed, boom, it rains. I get my wife's BMW washed, boom, it rains. Oh, car wash just doesn't last with me. I don't get it. And so I look at that reflection. I look at the point where it's like, you know what? How much of this is under my control and how much isn't? You know, when I was uh, coming up in the world, I was coming up and saying, man, this guy's got a car. Because I grew up with a bus and a train. I'd never had a car growing up. And it was only until I uh, uh, entered and joined the Marines that I came back from my first combat uh, deployment and the five, six thousand dollars I had saved up from being deployed overseas to the Persian Gulf, I was able to save up and I wasn't spending anything overseas. And I remember finally buying my first car and having the pride of ownership, having the pride of having my first car. And I'm always telling myself, if I had my first car, I'd take care of it. Old changes, this car would be spotless. And I say, you know, I got the car and taking care of your car and maintaining it and keeping it spotless, it's a pain in the ass. Like I would always tell myself, if I owned a Mercedes, I keep it pristine. If I owned a BMW, it pristine. If I owned an exotic car, I keep it pristine. And then, praise the Lord, we get one. We got the Mercedes. We got the BMW. We got the exotics. We got the Rolls Royce. But here's the thing: you can't drive around those cars with dirty. You can't drive around those cars with uh, with dust stains and just swirl marks. It doesn't look good. It doesn't match the brand. It's the expression of, hey, if you have nice things, you better take care of your nice things. And so that's what I do. But the downside is the elements. The downside is timing. The downside is when I do take care of my stuff, stuff like this happens. You can see the water on my windshield, it's raining. So what's my point? The point is this. As an entrepreneur, as a person going out and uh, uh, looking to make your first millions and having the opportunity to be in business for yourself and say, man, I'm going to save and invest. I'm going to build a business. I'm going to invest in me. And boom, boom, boom. All these different things are happening. Woo! And next thing you know, things don't go your way. Next thing you know, you got to maintain the business that somebody's trying to steal from you, take away from you, minimize you, troll you, whatever the case may be. And I've resolved it to one thing. All you can do is all you can do, but is all you can do, all you can do. Meaning that your attitude, uh, taking care of your car, did you do your part? Yes, you did your part. You may not be happy with the fact that the rain just ruined your brand new car wash. Just go wash it again. Go take care of it again. Find a system or a process that when distractions come your way, you're like, ah, shoot, don't like the result of that, but I do have a system or process where I'm no longer distracted. I'm no longer angry about a certain issue. I continue moving forward. I'm good. And that's all you can do. As much as you think you're under control, sure. But God has a different conversation with you about that. And you got to be able to say, yep, you're right, God. You're in control. I'm just happy to be a steward over it. It's my job to make sure it's clean, maintain it. It doesn't break down. I'm able to uh, uh, be in a position where I can drive around these beautiful toys and cars instead of the uh, bus and train that I grew up with. So, my friends, are you doing all you can do? Are you taking care of the things you can control? When distractions come your way, and they will. Children distractions, wife distractions, husband distractions, baby mama distractions, baby daddy distractions, exes distractions, legal distractions, financial distractions. A lot of distractions will come your way. But the question you got to ask yourself is this. What part of this scenario can I control? And I think you figure out what you can control and stay focused on that and say, you know what? Everything else is up to God. I control what I can control. Lord, I called 25 people today. Lord, I went out to go to networking. I said, Lord, I did my job today as an entrepreneur. Now, since I did my part, God, I'm going to depend on you. You do your part and let the powers that be usher in the next level of success and greatness your way. So when you uh, go out there and wash your car, remind yourself, it might rain here in the next couple hours or two or three hours. 
at the end of the day, I did my part to maintain my car to make sure it was beautiful, pristine, I'm not riding around in the dust bowl. But I'll make sure that I took care of my part and everything else, it's under God's control. I think for myself, my experience, getting mad and upset and angry at the wrong things kept me from doing the right things. And uh, as you journey on your path this week, as you start off your week ahead, God bless you. And just remember, control what you can control and leave everything else up to God. That being said, guys, let me thoughts, your comments. Put it in the comment section below. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like and follow our business page, Money Smart Guy. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe, hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode, a channel dedicated to helping you thinking like a millionaire, strategizing like a millionaire, so therefore you can become a first generation cash flow, faith based millionaire. From Dallas, Texas, I'm Money Smart Guy. And until we meet again, continue to smart, continue to smart, and be money smart today. God bless you guys. Thank <laughs> you.